Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Yuki Overview. Now the first time I saw this game announced I was pretty much surprised because the developers that are behind this, Arvgor, are responsible for the Pixel Rip series which naturally I thought they would just like wrap up the trilogy with the third Pixel Rip like based in the 2000s where the first PSX and Xbox were happening. I was like a teenager I just like starting to play actual games on the consoles. So seeing Yuki like announced I was like out of the comfort zone but not really because I believe when I played Pixel 1995 there was like one level bullet hell like that you had to pass in order to progress the game so essentially I feel like it's like exact copy of the mechanics that they use in that specific game so I'm not sure if it's even something new outside of just the art style and just the graphics we'll have to see I guess so Yuki is a bullet hell arcade game where you basically steer the protagonist with your own hand and steal from the troubles of incoming bullets like missiles everything that kinda comes to you but like in a sense of just chaos on the screen. Automatically it resembles Shooty Sky's Overdrive, a bit much simpler bullet hell that released back in the day on Quest but still very much the same in terms of mechanics and also in the days when I was playing also the Rift game on PC many of the songs there were from the other game that was called Toho and that was kind of like my first exposure to like bullet hell genre which is like not my style at all but that was like the first time that I've heard where people were just tryharding because it was such a hard game that was like a dark source of bullet holes pretty much. So with Yuki on the first glance it seems to be like a recreation of that in VR. I don't think I'm gonna be interested in doing like the whole playthrough. We'll be mostly checking out just the mechanics and is it actually fun to play because bullet holes can be very much one note if you want like introduce variety into the gameplay. Though Arvgor specializes in this nostalgia based games that might remember some people where they were just playing with toys and flailing them around with your hands when you're playing I don't know space invaders or whatever like it's not essentially my generation that did it but I can imagine that being like familiar with some folk I was honestly expecting another pixel ripped but let's see what's about with this one about Yuki this day has permadeath once you die you will start over obstacles and enemies are randomized making everyone unique in between runs you will be able to permanently upgrade your character okay Arvor is always good with introductions pretty much settings classically oh wow <laughs> keeping it simplistic huh patrol mode <laughs> the lightning on the things are crazy. Like I can see the lightning reflections on the just the screen. I'm expecting to be yeah room scale, but I'm sitting down. Whatever. Cars passing by. Golden fish. Trucks. <laughs> when you can't believe in yourself, remember that I do. Well, that's not me. <laughs> Yes, you and my favorite kid are back. You're just in time for our patrol. As usual, I'll be your lawyer sidekick, Pod. <laughs> Let's check if everything's in order. I'm always ready. Can you collect all of these creative drive orbs? The star flower hovering over us fills our universe with creative drive. <laughs> it's a very special resource that inspires a great deal of power. What are you doing? Like in my left hand. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> now hold your key out in front of you. This is Yuki's life bar. Always see it behind her. If you're hit, this hell beats her lifesaver. Uh -huh. Yokalians. They are mostly gone, but we bump into a few stragglers every now and then. As a space ranger, I must keep them away from the star flower. They want to steal its creative drive to cause chaos and destruction. It's a story. Pull trigger to blast them away. Okay, so you aim with tilting basically. 
In shooting skies, the shooting would be just constant. Here, like, you can stop. Which is nice. Hmm. Quick press A to activate my shield. That's very helpful actually, <laughs> especially in bullet holes though. Let me help you, I'll pull trigger to use my freeze bomb. Now blast them away. Seems easy to understand. Both the freeze bomb and shield will plunge with time. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the patrol on the road. We got this! Get ready, my sons are running a Yurkalian nearby. Hmm. I don't want to hit my camera. <laughs> Can I collect with him? Oh, okay. Huh? That's gonna be better. He doesn't get hit, okay. Wow. Pod charge up, fire rate up. Fire rate. Oh, we have power ups. Okay, that's nice. Charge up, fire right up. Hmm. I like the environment though. It's like, I think it could be more detailed or something, but it's like very atmospheric still. What is happening here? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's kinda impossible what's happening here. <laughs> Excuse me. Now the can install all the creative drive from our star flower. Without it, creation will become destruction, chaos. We must recover the stone creative drive to restore the star flower's glow. I know how you feel, but don't worry. Every time you fall, you come back stronger. Okay, this system then. By collecting the creative drive, I can find you charms and power ups to gear us up. There is going to be something powerful every single patrol here at the workshop. To check up your power up collection, grab the master power capsule on your left. Unlock and get them on your patrols. They can unlock automatically, okay. We basically just collect things on the playthroughs and then return to the workshop. Collect stuff again, return. It's this kind of classic way of doing the gameplay where you spend time in few playthroughs. Creative driver. Then can I complete the game? I felt it's gonna be way more like chaotic than it is currently, so that's nice that it's not crazy. It's not Toho. <laughs> For now.
Reva basically gives me two shots. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I move the camera for sure. <laughs> Environment is like. It's not like repeating itself, but it's the same atmosphere, which I guess is fair, so. Wow, a tree. We must keep going. Huh. So the stage is like split in the episode then. I like the art style very much. Oh, what the? A threat from beneath. <laughs> huh? I think I have to use more of those special things. And they're pretty much recording fast, so... Yeah, like the bomb is already half full. Oh. shot now <laughs> oh my god <laughs> fire rate I always choose attack Okay, well, there's not much philosophy to it, you know. You just basically progress through the stages, level up, die, level up again. That's it, so. Here we unlock stuff. You can now can now charge her shots. Vitality charm. Choose your blade wings. Huh? There's gonna be more shots, more fiber. Okay, I see some depth into the mechanics. It doesn't seem like very much one note, even though we have like a strict episodes and stuff like that. But like there's a lot of upgrades and just different playstyles, it seems, to keep it like kind of interesting throughout the way. I think that's how it's pretty much top tier here especially when i see like the details on the just character models and stuff like that it's very reminiscent of Ven vr which will come to quest like soon but just the attention is pretty good here well i don't know if it's something that i'm gonna like you know do a whole play from it it's definitely like a specific niche for people that enjoy bullet hells in general i don't know if i'm the player like that it seems fun to play with like short sessions not like few hours or something not my specialty but i can appreciate it <laughs> 